Now I'd like to show you two techniques to verify that a state machine is operating properly. One is highlight execution, and the other involves setting a, a breakpoint. First, let's begin with the highlight execution feature. And once that feature has been enabled, you can look at the dot to tell you exactly where the data flow is being evaluated. And then if you look carefully, you'll be able to see that the values associated with each of the controls and each of the sub VI outputs and node outputs are all visible. So with that type of debugging, you can really see a lot of details about what's happening and that, that can be used to trace down some problems sometimes. For example, here we see the B signal changing from false to true. Also, we can confirm the relationship between what we see on the indicator and what's going on inside the block diagram. All right, let's get that back to the beginning here. I'm going to turn that off and then show you the breakpoint technique. When you right click on the wire and select breakpoint and then set breakpoint, that little red dot tells you that the VI will run until it lands on a wire whose breakpoint is set. So for example, when I hit run just now, I've run one iteration of the while loop. If I press continue, I run another full iteration and so forth. Setting the breakpoint just before the feedback node allows the entire while loop structure to evaluate. So this is a, a way of getting you through one clock cycle at a time. So once we've got this set up, I think you'll find this is a little bit easier way of causing desired behavior or, or a desired path through the state diagram. Now there's one issue that you start to notice here a little bit. Okay, now we've advanced to state two. I think at some point the question is, does it advance to the state when you think it ought to? And so to discuss this issue a little bit more, let me first place some probes. And while I'm placing the probes, I'll mention that the inputs or the input controls, A, B, and C, are sampled once at the beginning of the while loop. And that effectively means that these are sampled inputs and they are not like inputs to a combinational logic circuit. Or more precisely, we have a register in between the inputs and the combinational logic of the next state decoder. What that means for us is that we have to account for a single cycle delay between the inputs that we set on the front panel and what actually gets into the case structure. All right, so when I click B now and then run it, we do not advance to state two However, now we see that the B input is in fact set true, and on the next cycle, that advances us to state two. All right, that worked. So now we're in state two. What this means is that you always have to anticipate one cycle ahead when you specify your inputs. Okay, we've got false, true, false for A, B, and C. And that means we should be advancing to state four next. All right, that worked. We're in state four. And once we're in state four, we always advance to state eight. Could run a couple cycles and confirm that we do in fact stay in state eight because of the self loop. All right, I'll activate our system reset and apply one clock cycle effectively. Now supposing we wanted to take that path. 
So again, I have to anticipate one cycle ahead. I'll set B active, and that will send me to state two after spending one cycle in state one. And then since I want to take this path, I need to have both A and B low. Okay, now we're in state two. And again, looking ahead one, we need this pattern. A is high, B is low, C is high. Now we are in state five. And if we go ahead and apply the clock one more time, that will carry us back to state one. This is, I think, something you might have to experiment with a, a little bit on your own uh, to, to be able to properly account for uh, thinking ahead one clock cycle. I think once you're aware of the issue, then you'll find that testing all possible paths of your state machine becomes very straightforward using this breakpoint method. So again, here I'm just illustrating some other choices that, that can evaluate some different paths as we work our way through. Because again, really the, the point of verifying a state machine is that you ought to be able to exercise every possible path in your state diagram and make sure that the behavior that you observe is the behavior that you had specified.